Today, the National Governors Association convened in Santa Monica to tackle issues surrounding youth mental health. Representing California, first partner, Jennifer Siebel Newsom. Health and wellness. California's first partner, Jennifer Siebel Newsom, tours the mental wellness program at Santa Monica High. She says it's one of the most impressive programs in the country. Santa Monica High School is a model um, that's doing really great work. She meets with senior Ryan Sly, who gets weekly free therapy here. It's like, well, like a place where I can open up and talk about like my feelings. Ryan is one of hundreds of students here accepting mental health help. Therapy's helped me open up a lot. And you realize there is somebody listening. Yeah. And you feel heard and seen. Yeah. All students on campus are offered free one-on-one -on -one weekly therapy, group therapy sessions, or drop-in sessions if they're having a tough day. I never realized about the support I had at school. Senior Samantha Ramirez says she was scared of therapy until a classmate's words one day left her in tears and in the nurse's office. She sat with me. I was like, I was just like sobbing that day. And she handed me a little bar and then some water. And then that's when she offered me like the services that they offer at school. I guess I never realized how much I, it really does help to have someone listen to you and someone you can speak to. Hi, Jennifer Filmer. On this day, Newsom is showcasing this program to the National Governors Association, whose national conference in Santa Monica is focused on youth mental health. And they're just freely available for students. Colorado Governor Jared Polis and New Jersey's Governor Phil Murphy are both impressed. But we always want to share kind of what works and best practices. I've already got some food for thought on how we can apply some of this back in New Jersey. California Governor Gavin Newsom was supposed to be here, but instead had to travel to Half Moon Bay to deal with yet another mass shooting. His wife is here, representing the state, and talking to her own kids about these difficult mental health issues. How as a mom do you talk to your kids about these mass shootings? Great question. We're in this together. We have to kind of meet kids where they're at and um, and and um, and and be delicate too in the conversations because you don't want to scare children and you want them to feel safe. And but it's really important that we acknowledge everyone's feelings right now. For Ryan, there's a lesson here. Don't be afraid to ask for help. 